Hey guys, welcome to today's math lesson. You're going to want to do this one with me if you like drawing. It's a ton of fun. If you're going to make your own city, that's what we're doing today, you're going to need scissors, drawing utensils, and you're going to need a piece of paper that you are allowed to cut up. So when you have all these materials, you can work along with me or you can watch the video first and then do it yourself. So I'm going to start out with my crayons. Ooh, this one's broken, but that's okay. You can still write with a broken crayon. And I'm going to use my hungry alligator to pinch and flip. And I'm going to draw a building. Well, I don't live in a city, so maybe I'll draw what I see around me. I'm gonna draw a barn. And I'm gonna give it a door with an X on the front and some windows and I'm gonna draw a silo next to it to put the grain in and of course at home you guys can color it in differently I'm just gonna do the outlines today what else are some buildings that I see around? Oh, I see houses. So I'm going to make a green house. Just the perfect size for a family. I'm gonna give them some round windows, circle windows and now I'm going to draw a brown house, a big brown duplex, where maybe two families will live side by side next to each other. Give them little chimneys and some windows so they can get a nice amount of sunlight. My windows aren't perfect, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. And the more you draw, the more you practice, the more your drawings will look like what's inside your head. Now I'm going to draw a humongous, sprawling mansion. I'm going to put, whoops, one, two, three chimneys. I'm going to put so many windows. I don't know what to do with them all. Maybe instead of a mansion, this will be a hotel. Because we do have more hotels around here than mansions. And a little door, doorknob on the door. A little doorknob on this door too. And um, is that enough? I don't know. What else should I add? What's something that I see all the time. I know I see my teeny tiny chicken coop outside. So I'm going to draw a chicken coop. I'm not the only one with chickens. I live right down the street from a big giant farm with so many poultry they don't just have chickens, they have quail and ducks and geese and goose eggs are so very, very large. It is amazing. I'll have to show you one the next time I find one. So we have our beautiful beautiful buildings. I have one, two, three, four, five, six separate buildings. 
but you might want to draw more, you might want to draw less, you might want to draw what you see outside your door, but once you're done, it is time to cut them out. And I'm going to do my best, but I'm not going to be too bothered about getting all the lines perfect. I'm going to leave some around the outside because I just find it very, very stressful to cut, cut, cut exactly on the line, especially a line I just drew. I wouldn't want to accidentally cut apart my building. So it's okay. I'm just going to take my time, cut out each individual piece. And here comes my big hotel. Now, my scissors are silly. They don't have a lot of space. Hopefully your scissors have more space. So you can keep your thumb in the top and at least two or three or even four fingers, depending on how big your hand is and how big your scissors are in the bottom. I like to sing a song when I cut. It goes, open, shut them, open, shut them, point your thumb up high. Open, shut them, open, shut them. You can do it if you try. And it's important to keep your thumb pointed up high because it puts less fatigue on your wrist. Your wrist will get tired much less quickly. At first, it might feel tired. But the more you practice, the stronger your wrist muscles will be. And then it's good for things like sports and writing and cooking. Anything where you need to use your hands, which is pretty much everything. So now I'm going to use this mat to help compare the height of my objects. You might have your city. I have my rural environment. There's a lot of different places where people live. Here we go. So I'm going to line it up right on the bottom. And you can do this with a mat at your house, maybe a carpet edge. Hmm, if you have a bulletin board, you can pin them up on there. If you have just a floor where you have tile and you can use the grout as your line. But I'm gonna put all my little buildings right in a row, right at the bottom of my paper. And I'm gonna try really hard so that you guys can see all of them. Mm hmm. And you little chicken coop right next to the hotel. Maybe the hotel has chickens. Okie dokie. Let's see. We're talking about the height of our buildings. So, how can we decide which one is taller? Hmm. What do you guys think? We could just compare them. We can use, oh, I know, maybe I'll use my scissors. So which one is taller, the silo or the barn? The silo. Which one of these two is taller, the barn or the duplex, where two different houses are attached to each other? That's right, it's the barn. What about between the duplex and this house? 
the duplex is a little bit taller. Now what about the hotel and this house? Which one is taller? It's the hotel. And what if we compared the hotel to the duplex? Which one's taller? It's the hotel. And what if we compared the hotel to the barn? It's the hotel. And what if we compared the hotel to the silo? Still the hotel. So the hotel is taller than all of the other ones that we have looked at so far. Hotel, silo, barn, duplex, home, and then we have our chicken coop. And that one is a not nearly as tall. It is much shorter than all of the other buildings. Do you get all of your buildings in a line at home? All right, I'm gonna clean up my building. And I might save them to play with them if I want to have a scene outside of where I live. If you are going to make your own city or farmscape or you can do suburbs, you can make different kinds of buildings, you can make a construction site, use items around your house to help you measure. You can make a building bigger than a crayon. You can make one smaller than your hand. You can make one that is three beans long. And I can't wait to see your beautiful cities if you decide to make them. You can take a picture and you can post it. And then we can all enjoy our cities together. Thank you guys so much for playing with me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.